Hi. In this video, I want to cover a couple things. First, I'm going to show you how you can take assets from an old project and bring them into a new project. There's two different ways I'm going to show you. Both have their pros and cons, but it's really helpful to not have to keep remaking stuff that's been in previous projects and bring it over. And secondly, building off of that, as I'm beginning to build tools and useful stuff that I use in other projects, I'm going to show you how I'm using Dropbox to actually store blueprints and store settings and all these things I need to reuse for a new project and build a library. So anytime you open up a new Unreal project, you can bring all this stuff in really fast and it'll save you a bunch of time from having to remake stuff because remaking stuff is not fun. So the first one I'm going to show you is how you can get files in from one project to another. The easiest method is just to go through and explore and grab these. So you'll find in here these are all Unreal assets when it converts them into the engine. Um, so you can't drag stuff like these assets from the folder and drop them into the browser like you normally would think you would. So the easiest way to do that is to have your target folder here. So say I want to bring in this camera shake asset. Um, I would copy the folder that it's in or the files um, on one and then go through and paste into the folder on another one. And you can see that it's actually going to drop it in and populate it in here. So that's one way that you can do it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that because I don't actually want that there. The other method that you can do, and it's probably a little more stable and I think it does a pretty good job is to use the migrate. So if I wanted this spline rig into another one, I'd right click on it. I go down into migrate, uh, save whatever I have if I'm wanting to. I'm not going to save this in this, this instance. And it's going to show you here's the path and everything that you are sending over. This works better because if you have this spline blueprint and it's linked to meshes or materials or there's a bunch of other stuff that makes up this complicated piece, it's going to grab everything that it needs to make it work and export that out. The other method that I showed you, if you have it linking to stuff around the project and you don't copy and paste it over, that stuff's gonna be broken and you're gonna to have to rebuild it. So this is a little bit more of a stable method. So I select okay, and this is just going to say, pick the destination that you want to drop it to. So I go to whatever project I'm gonna do, I'd select content and select that folder and it will migrate all of that over, which is the best. Those are the two ways that you can get files from one to another. The third thing I want to discuss about quickly is as I'm starting to go through and building out my own blueprint tools and referencing things using like actor references so I don't have to, you know, make a blueprint for each individual item that I'm going to do, I can make it a bit more of a modular setup. This is actually has when Dropbox has really come into handy. So I know that you can get a free version of it. If you don't have massive files, it's actually a pretty lightweight to make a library. So just to kind of demo here, I've got an assets folder and I'm making my own Unreal Engine tools, but things that I use over and over like Camera Shake, I don't want to have to go back and rebuild it or if I forget because I haven't done it in a month, watch tutorials and figure out how to do it again. Uh, same with Blueprint, the spline rig that I use over and over to attach stuff and move it through. It's nice to just go through and set up folders and have all this stuff in Dropbox. You switch computers, you can just copy and paste this into the folder that you want, and you have, you're up and running with tools, which is a great start. So color configs, um, render settings, um, even actor components, like everything that you wanna make that you're not gonna store on the marketplace or is not absolutely massive that you need to migrate over. It's just a quick way that you can make a library of tools as you're building them and get up and running in Unreal a lot faster. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, follow all the good stuff. And if you have any comments about how this could be done differently, what you'd like to see, or any questions you have, please leave comments down below. It gives us good feedback and helps us out. Thank you.